Fighting coronavirus takes a community effort. Officials in Rexburg are making sure everyone is on the same page and aware of their progress. Eyewitness News reporter Jilliana Colina joins us live now to tell us more. Jilliana. Linda, right here in the center of town at one of the most busiest intersections in Rexburg, community members can find this, a bulletin sign that has become a weapon in the fight against COVID. Take their destiny in their own hands and uh, by voluntarily doing the things that we know we need to do to keep ourselves safe from, from this pandemic. United We Stand Against COVID, as Mayor Jerry Merrill explains, is an initiative to help educate the public to remember to do things to keep people safe and the case count down. That is, of course, washing our hands, social distancing, wearing masks in appropriate places, and trying to avoid the mandated things that none of us really want to do by doing it ourselves and doing the things that we know we should do. Many neighbors in Rexburg strongly oppose a mask mandate. So a week ago, the council approved this initiative to prevent a need for one. Every day, Mayor Merrill updates the number of daily cases on the community bulletin board. We've been as high as 37, and our magic number, I guess you'd say, is 40. Uh, if we hit 40 for three days in a row, then the public health department can mandate uh, mask wearing and smaller gatherings and things like that. And that's what we're trying to avoid. In hopes of spreading the word to those who don't pass the Main Street intersection on their daily commute, Mayor Merrill also updates the community via Facebook Live every day as he updates the daily number. Four cases today, which is too many, so we need to be more careful, but our number only went up one. The initiative follows a 49-day challenge for community members to wear masks, social distance, sanitize, and more to stay safe with the hopes of reaching zero cases by the 49th day, which is Labor Day. We want to make sure we get our kids back in school. We want our businesses to be thriving, and we don't want to overwhelm our health system, the hospital and the emergency services people and things. You can think of this as an active scoreboard against COVID-19. Now this number 20 you see right here is actually for yesterday. Mayor Merrill updates the daily number at around 6 p.m. each day after he receives it. So he should be coming around anytime soon to change it for today's number. Reporting live in Rexburg, Juliana Colina. All right, what an interesting thing to do. Thank you, Juliana. With many students coming back to school in September, Mayor Merrill says that they hope to have things calm down by then. They're also looking to BYU-Idaho to have their students take the necessary safety measures to continue keeping the community safe.